Ladies, make plans now to join Paula White for an evening of spiritual and practical answers for Christian women today. Here's what ladies are saying. If your spiritual batteries are running low, then you need to be here April the 25th. She will jumpstart you, and you will be spiritually jumpstarted for the entire year. Be sure to join Paula White on April 25th at the North Church for one of the most dynamic, life-changing presentations of the year. Coming to you from Dallas, Texas, the North Church brings you powerful and practical answers to life. With Pastor Lawrence and Coral Kennedy. And now, Family and Friends with Lawrence and Coral. Hallelujah. Hi, it's a welcome. wonderful night to be here and family and friends with you tonight that are watching this program. Something good is going to happen to you. It is. Today is a day that the Lord has made and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Now you might say, well, that's good for you, but how can I rejoice? You don't know what I'm facing today. You dreaded getting up. You dread going to work and you dread your entire day because there is so much that you feel like the pressures and demands, so you don't problems. know what to do and how you can handle it. Well, you are watching the right broadcast because you are going to be strengthened by the power of His might. It's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. And the way you tap into that spiritual power is you cry out to God. And the way you cry out to God is you get prayer. And we've got a number on the screen. Call us. We've got someone ready to pray for you. And prayer truly will make a difference in your life. You need to call right now. Get someone to pray for you. And you're going to begin to sense where you felt fatigue, where you felt dread. You're going to you're going to feel the Holy Spirit strengthening you, coming alongside you, because this is the year of harvest. Harvest means a time to reap what you've sowed, where you have been toiling and planting and trudging along. God wants to bring a harvest into your life this year. Now is the time. And because of that, we've done a free giveaway, yeah. and it is the Harvest Prayer. We want to send this to you free of charge. When you call and get prayer, we want to send this Harvest Prayer to you, because it is going to strengthen strengthen you. It's about how you can have a harvest in your finances, a harvest in your physical body, how you can be healed. And it's all the scriptures on harvest and how this is the time wow. for harvest. And then on the other side is one of my favorite things. And that is, are you a hundred percent sure? And that is how you can witness to anyone, a stranger, a loved one. We've had people witness to you know, taxi drivers. You know what I really find? You really have an anointing right now in these things, don't you? Well, I love it. Because she loves giving these things I do. to you because she likes to make them and give it out to you. Well, and, why? I mean, because it helps people's life. And That's I was true. Here, I was standing here just listening to my wife and I said, man, there's a burden of the Lord in her heart for you. God wants to help you to have a successful day, life, week, month, year. And we want to sow this into your life. So call us right now and we'll send it out to you because I believe that God is going to help you. See, I really believe there's some people watching this program tonight that are filled, filled with fear. And God is going to take away the fear and give you victory and courage to move forward. Really, the cure for fear really is action. And God wants you to have something moving inside you called faith to make you move forward in action to conquer fear and to bring about a deliverance in your life. God wants to fill you with courage tonight. And that's what Coral and I are believing. We're believing, God, that His anointing is going to come down on your life while you're watching this program and really change your way of looking at the problems that might be coming at you. Believe me, I know I've been through some situations in my life, but let me tell you something. God, it came to me, gave me a, a courage and the power of the Holy Ghost in my life, and I went right through it by action. Faith in God's Word. God wants to do a miracle in your life, so call us tonight. You're going to find courage come to you. You're going to find fear removed. You're going to find victory begin to be exposed through your life in every area if you'll only believe. And let us pray for you. Coral and I, we really believe. And I really believe this, Coral. That's why you felt this burden for so many mm -hmm. people tonight. Mm -hmm. I really believe there's somebody watching that God wants to touch with His anointing and help tonight. So we want to help you. We believe that God is going to do a miracle 
in your life. Believe me, we really understand this. We know it. We've seen it. And he'll do it for you. That's right. That was so good. And I appreciate that word. And I know they do too. You know, uh, we have so many people that call in every single time this broadcast airs. People just like you that are calling in, getting prayer, and they're beginning to see results in their life. We've had marriages restored where it was on the verge of hopeless, where it seemed like there was no hope. The husband had left and then by prayer. After a month of praying, right on the very verge of divorce being finalized, the husband came back. We've had parents praying for their kids that were addicted to drugs. They came back home, got off drugs. I'm telling you, there is nothing too great, too difficult for God. Just like John called in from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and he received Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. And he knows and felt God invade his life. And then Ron is a pastor. And he called in, he is in Colorado, and he was a pastor from the East Coast. His church has just failed. He turned on the TV and decided to call and ask for prayer. When he did that, he dreaded asking for prayer, but he was at his wit's end. And after prayer, he is seeking God's will for his life seeking direction and is so confused and felt that God was going to talk to him while he's in Colorado. You know, I really believe God is going to speak to you. That's it. If you're watching this program right now, God is going to speak to you and give you peace. That's it. Take away the fear in your life and give you peace. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. He would take that confusion away and give you his peace his security that you can move forward into a great victory if you'll only believe. I really believe God's going to do something for you tonight. Now we have the Marshalls with us. Great group. Oh man, they sing so good and they're singing a a great song for all of us. It's greater is he that is in me. And that same one is in me. It's like the theme. Well, he's inside of you and he'll give you victory tonight if you only believe. Now Now call my prayer partners and listen to this song and we'll be back with more. Remember this. A family and friends. God bless you. he that is in me greater is he that is in me greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world greater is he that is in me greater is he that is in me greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world Lion, a roaring lion, roaming to and fro, seeking whom he may devour, the Bible tells me so. Many souls have been his prey to fall in some weak hours, but God has promised us today his overcoming power. A rushing mighty wind It blew into the upper room And it baptized all of him With a power greater than any earthly foe And I'm so glad I've got it too I'm gonna let the whole world know God is greater God is greater, God is greater, God is greater, God is greater than the wisest man, greater than the power of sin, God is greater than the gates of hell, greater than any tongue can tell, He's greater just king greater than anything he's greater 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 is he that is in me than he that is in the world god is greater than the wisest man greater than the 
no power of sin. God is greater than the gates of hell. Greater than any tongue can tell. He's greater than the richest king. Greater than anything. He's greater. 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 They're great people, and they sing so well. And um, we enjoyed them so much being with us here on Family and Friends. Yes, Amen. and also if you're a church group and you'd like to contact them, the number's been on the screen. You can call and ask for that number again. We'll get it to you. And any information about booking them, they're a great family group yeah. that truly love God. Mom and Dad and travel with that's their right. kids, and they're all brothers and sisters, and they have great ministry, and, well, you heard it. It's good, and it'll be good for any church and anyone that wants to hear the marshals. I really believe that God is doing something special tonight on the program. I really believe that He's reaching out today to a lot of people that are hurting, and it's going to help them through the day and tonight and this week, next month, through the year. I really right. feel like He's delivering a lot of people from all sorts of problems that is plaguing their life. I want you to understand that that's why you're watching this program today. God wants to deliver you from fear, give you courage and power of the Holy Ghost to help you be victorious. Now understand that today you can pick up your phone and call one of my prayer partners. And I really believe as we begin to believe in prayer for you, I really believe that you'll get a miracle. It could be in your physical life. It could be in your family. It could be in your finance. It can be in every area of life. That's why Carl and I and the North Church, why we exist as a church, we want to help a lot of people find the Lord Jesus Christ, of course, but also to understand his power, his anointing, how he can help them overcome any problem that might be plaguing their life. Believe me, God cares about you. God loves you. And if you're in depression or you're confused or having a situation, you don't know how to handle life or handle a situation, understand this. That's why this program is here with you today to help you find victory. We want to be your family and your friends. We want to help you. We want to encourage you and believe God that He will turn your life around and give you a victory. So call right now. And that's why we're here. Absolutely. Because we've seen it so many times, Corey. We have truly seen in our finances how God is greater than what we see. What we saw around us was lack, but oh. what we believed was, was the Word of God that said He would meet our every need. And when we delight in Him, He would give us the desires of our heart. And that's what we've seen God do, and He will do the same for you. But the key is, is prayer. You've got to cry out to God. You've got to begin to trust Him with your life, with the hopeless situations. And the first step is prayer. Please, please call Someone is waiting to pray for you. And then also we have our harvest prayer we want to send to you. Beautiful. This is how you can experience harvest in your life. But then on the back we have are you 100% sure so that you can know that you're 100% sure that when you die you'll go to heaven, that your loved ones will. Because I'm telling you, I believe that we're living in the last days oh. and you need to know for sure. But also your loved ones, your friends, your family, you need to know that they know and they are a hundred percent sure. And if you're in Dallas area, in this whole area, you need to come to the North Church. I'm oh, telling it's an you, awesome place. our church is tremendous. Power of the Holy Ghost will touch your life. You're coming here, the singing, the songs, the preaching, the friendships of many people. If you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area, you need to pick, get your family in the car on Sunday morning, Wednesday night, and come be a part of this great church. God has raised this church up. We have just entered our, I believe, is it our 11th year, Coral? Or yeah. is it our 11th year? Yes. We just entered into our 11th year. That's when this church began uh, many years ago, 10 years, going on 11 now. 10 years ago, we started with a few people, about a thousand people, right off. It's amazing when you say it went down about 700. And then it took off and grew, and now we're into thousands of people here at the church, and it's wonderful to watch how God has changed 
many people's life. And he'll do the same for you. So come be a part of the North Church sometime if you're in the Dallas area. And you that are in Denver or in Phoenix or uh, anywhere that's watching this program today, believe me, God wants to help you. And you, when you're in Dallas, Texas, you need to come be with us too and experience what God is doing in this great church. That's right. And I just really, I love family and friends. Uh, we're first and foremost pastors, but we love this ministry, what it does. It affects people like you and I and reaches out into areas that we would never personally be able to get That's into. True. And so we want to share with you a little bit about how you can join with us and you can begin to reap what we're reaping from this great broadcast because this is something God has raised up, certainly not us. So we That's want you to watch fact. this, and we have a practical tip from one of our great pastors, Janice Moore, and so we're going to be right back with you. God bless you. We are so glad that you've tuned in to watch Family and Friends with Lawrence and Coral Kennedy. Thanks to friendship partners like you, Family and Friends is able to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ and the ministry of hope to millions of viewers across the nation every week. One viewer writes, I was so depressed that I had left my wife and children and had driven to a hotel to commit suicide to end my life. Thanks to family and friends being on the television, I called for prayer, threw away the pills, and received Jesus as my Savior. Because of friendship partners like you, hundreds of viewers just like this are reached each week through this ministry. For just $30 a month, you too can become a family and friends partner. With this donation, you will receive our Family Times magazine, one of Pastor Kennedy's or Coral's books every other month, our sermon tape of the month, and a special love gift. At the end of one year, or for a one-time donation of $460, your name will be inscribed on our Friendship Partner plaque. We hope that you will preferably consider becoming a Family and Friends partner and help us sow the seed of hope in Jesus Christ in the lives of others. Hi, I'm Pastor Janice Moore, pastor of the nursery and preschool department at the North Church. I'm here today to give you some victorious Christian living tips on caring for your young children. God has entrusted us with the awesome responsibility of parenting His little ones. We should represent God's character to our children. Children learn by example and our influence. Let your child see you reading the Bible. He will learn respect for God's Word by your attitude, how you handle it, how often you read it, and how you care for it. And take the time to talk about spiritual things as if you're talking about the weather or talking about eating or their playtime. Make talking about God's Word such a natural and normal thing in your household. God has blessed you with young children. They are a precious gift from Him. So I, I encourage you parents to love your children as God loves them. And God bless you. Amen. God truly loves you. And He wants to help you in with every area of your life, with your kids, with your family, with your finances, every area. Remember, this is the year of harvest. We have our free giveaway we want to send to you. Just call the number on the screen. You can get prayer. If you don't want prayer, that's fine. Just request our free giveaway. We're going to send that to you free of charge. Now, if you have trouble getting through on the phone lines, please continue to call. You will get through because it is so powerful what I'm sensing right now. We've got incredible people that are just regular people but that are tapped in realizing that there is such a source of power when we reach out and touch God with our requests and he begins to answer those requests that we have. So please call right now. I want you to hear this in Proverbs 28 25. He who is of a, a proud heart stirs up strife, but he who trusts in the Lord will be prospered. Now, God wants to prosper you. He wants to help you. He wants to give you more than enough in every area of your life. Now, I want you to hear this. Wes and Glenda called in. This week, they're at the National Association of Broadcasters, and their booth has been nominated as the most innovative first place contestant. And um, then also, they're praying that they have favor with Microsoft. I'm telling you, God wants to help. And Kelly called in from Carrollton. We're praying for a healing. Just 
people are calling in and their needs are being met because we are praying the way that Jesus prayed and when you pray and do what Jesus did you're gonna get that same result I'm telling you it is powerful truth from the Word of God watch this sermon my husband's preaching on that very thing it's gonna bless you and we're gonna be right back God bless you and I working together will make it will come to pass. I might not be able to make it by myself, but I can make it when God is on my side. And that's why I say, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It reflects my priorities on the earth. I am a child of God. And I say, let heaven be done on this earth for me. And I begin to pray about my life, and then I pray about my family's life, and then I begin to pray about my church's life, and then I begin to pray about financial life, and then I begin to pray about community and city and America and the world, and I find out that God can handle it all. I can only handle a little, but God can handle it all. I'm not alone. I said, let your kingdom come on this earth. you got to have a little violence inside of you, a little courage inside of you, and say, it's going to come to pass because I put my faith in Almighty God, not in myself, but in God. You don't want to put your faith in yourself. You'll fail yourself. You put your faith in God, and I promise you the author and finisher of your faith will perform because he's God. Everybody say God. God. He loves you, but you got to move into that secret place. And when you have this all working inside you, all of a sudden you begin to pray and you say, oh, give us our daily bread. Oh, God, provide my financial needs, but by my spiritual needs. He says, I will. Because I'm mingling with you and you're mingling with me. My desires are becoming your desires and, and you can pray and heaven will come down to make sure it always works for your good. That's what works around Mrs. Smith. Every day she walks in faith in God and God makes things work for her. I bet you that little woman is a prayer warrior. When her husband died of cancer, all she knew to do is get down on her knee and say, help this grandmother. And look what God has done for her. You see, God wants us all to say, give us our daily bread. And he said, I will. I'll give you harvest. I'll give you everything you need in life if you will pray. And the only way, let me say it again, the only way you'll be in that secret place is through prayer. You can't get there no other way. But when I run to it, and I've run to it many times in my life, I've had difficulties in my life, and I had to get courage inside me and some kind of attitude inside me and say, if I can touch my God, I can have health. I can have what I need. I know my God will help me. Amen. I said, oh, God, you hear my desires? He says, I'm going to fulfill them. You see, God loves us. Everybody say, God loves me. You can read about it in the Luke, the 18th chapter, where an old woman was petitioning a judge, and he finally said, give it to her. There's something about prayer. Give it to her. You see, there's something that happens when you will pray right. You say, God, I'm not going away. I'm in the secret place. You just well get used to me. I'm not leaving. To him. Give it to her. Give it to them. It's that secret place. And praying like Jesus prayed. And Jesus always got his prayers answered. Now we've got to come to the place where we say, help me. So as soon as you begin to have all your needs met, you know what starts happening inside you? Because the desires inside you are mingled with God's desires. You're thinking right. You're seeing right. You're clarity of mind. You know what starts happening inside you? You say, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. You cannot get mad at nobody. 
You'll have to forgive them every time because you have to agree with God and God cancel out sin. Amen. And you say, Lord, forgive them. I've had, how many have somebody treat them wrong in their lifetime? I put up the left hand, right hand too. I've had twice. <laughs> you put it down and say, I've had some people treat me bad. How many had one? How many had two? How many were just trying to jump up and down and say, it happened to me? You'll be able to forgive them. Let them be free. Say, oh, I give it to you. And God says, I took it. They hurt me, but I give it to you, Father. He said, I took it. They broke my heart. I give it to you. He said, I took it. He takes it away from you, and you're free. God's doing something in your life tonight. He's going to set you free. If you list that message, I really believe there's freedom flowing into your life right now. You really need God. I need God, but I'm telling you, there's somebody that's watching this program today that really needs God. And if you'll begin to petition Him, talk to Him right now, you'll find that He'll come down and He will give you the victory He'll give you the courage. He'll help you win in life. Today and this week, next month, this year, you'll go through life saying, I am a victorious person. I want you to know this because God loves you this much to send me here and call here to tell you this message right now. God wants to help you. Call my prayer partners. We could be, you'll be blessed if you do because they're people that really understand how to pray and they'll pray for you. And I really believe you will have a victorious life today, this week, this month, this year. I really believe this, Coral. That's right. That people are going to begin to understand the power of the Holy Ghost in their life today. Knowing that this is reality, this is relationship, this isn't religion. No. You know, religion, it basically is the letter of the law. It's man's search for God. And the letter of the law brings death, it kills. But Jesus has come to give you life and life more abundantly. And I'm saying that because you may have tried church before, but we're not talking about trying church. We're Talk talking about Jesus. About Jesus. Jesus. And if you don't really feel like you have a close relationship with Him, call like you really him. know Him, you can know Him in an instant. You can call the number on the screen and say, I don't really know Jesus the way I want to. And they're going to tell you how you can do it. And you're going to have prayer away. And they're going to have victory today. Absolutely. Because you're going to begin to depend upon the Lord Jesus Christ. You're going to find victory as you have faith in Him. That's it. This is Family and Friends. I'm Lawrence. This is Coral. This is the North Church. We want you to know we love you. And more than us loving you, the Lord Jesus Christ, He really loves you. We'll yes. be praying for you. We want you to know that we really care about you. Call us right now. Get our prayer partners. Get us and pray for you tonight, today, in Jesus' name. Pray for us. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Jesus, I thank you for every single person that has cried out to you and asked you for help. Lord, I ask in yes, Jesus' God. name. That name is If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we invite you to join us at the North Church for services on Sunday at 8 o'clock and 10.30 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. The North Church is located at 1615 West Buffline Road in Carrollton, just one half mile west of Interstate 35. Church on the Rock North, doing business as the North Church, is a nonprofit 501c corporation and is independently reviewed quarterly by Gwyn Smith & Company to meet IRS compliance. Family and Friends is a North Church production.